Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's Tuesday the 22nd of September. We have quite a few new mods actually. Um, and we have one update. The update is actually one of yesterday's mods. The John Deere 4940 self-propelled sprayer by Custom Modding. They got their updating pretty quick. Um, it does say Chainsog 1.0.0.1 removed a section control bug that did not spray on all sections uh, and side lights work. Now I, on the mod review yesterday, decided I'll be different and I won't show the fertiliser and I'll show herbicide. The herbicide wasn't a problem apparently, but if you did um, fertiliser it wasn't spraying on all sections and if it was it was only spraying on part of the sections, apparently that's been fixed. I did, all, I did although say the side lights didn't seem to be shining that says that has been fixed. So that's the only update for today. Uh, mods in front of us. We've got the metal panel fences. This is by Matthew FS. There are three in this pack or three sort of sections. We've got a green section, grey section and galvanised. We've got the main fence panel and then we've got a corner post that has the lugs on two sides and then just a Mm, that's interesting because that looks exactly the same as the corner post. That's peculiar. Doesn't look any different at all. Mm, okay, that's weird. Okay, well the main fence panels are two slots each, and the posts are one slot each. I'll show you what, I'll show you what I mean. I'm not just. I'm. I'm not, I'm not losing my mind. I could well be losing my mind. Um, these you'll find under placeables, under miscellaneous. So, fence green, fence grey, fence galvanised, 200, 200, 200 for the fence panel. So yeah, fence corner green, fence corner grey, fence corner galvanised, and it says stake. But the stake came out exactly the same as the corner. Anyway, that's the pack. That's by Matthew FS. Um, moving on from there. We have got this. Um, now, I have set three of these up just to make sure I cover all the bases. This is the Lizard Marsha San, I want to get this right, DCA2MC 10,500. Bit of a mouthful, but there you go. Um, this is a 10,500 litre fertiliser, manure and lime spreader. So it will do all three. Uh, this will only use nine slots, which isn't actually too bad, really, for a 10,500 litre. Nicely detailed. I do like the tread on the tyres. It's got a real 3D kind of pop to that. Um, and I've got one of each to see what the spread patterns are, because it only gives one spread width. I think it says 16 metres. Um, but yeah, not a bad looking mod at all. Uh, this you'll find under tools, and I think this one's under fertiliser technology. Pretty sure it was. There you go. 54 grand to buy. Fairly pricey, I guess. But I suppose what you've got to look at is it's three machines in one. I suppose that's why you're looking at it. Yeah, it says 10 metres there. Why did I say 16? Is there something else we've got? This? Anyway, regardless, it says 10 metres. Um, and it says it does all three. It'll run at six miles now. It requires 125 horsepower to pull. Uh, it comes in blue, no other colour. That's what you get. So... This is by um, Conta Camigo Modding JV3D. Um, let's have a look, shall we? So, I think I went with fertiliser in the first one. I did. Does that look about 10 metres to you? Maybe. It's fairly slow at 6 miles per hour at doing fertiliser, I guess. Well, that's the fertiliser width. Why did I turn the engine off? That's the manure width. That looks like 10 metres as well. Looks pretty much the same as the previous one. Turn that off. Maybe it is 10 metres on each one. It's worth checking because you never know. Often lime spreads a much narrower width than fertiliser does, but it might just be this chucks everything out at 10 metres. And then lime. Yeah, looks pretty much the same to me. Lime comes out at 10 metres as well. So there we go. It just, yeah, it's very slow at 6 miles an hour. Feels very slow. 
and the flow, flow rate seems to be fairly fast. But anyway, uh, there you go. That's the Lizard Marshasan DCA2MC by Conta Kamigo Modding JV3D. Not bad. Don't want that. Uh, moving on. We've got this. This is the Vaderstadt Carrier XL525. I think we've got an 8... We've got an 825 already, I think, a standard in-game. So this is the 525. This will use six slots, which isn't too bad, actually. It's a six-metre cultivator. Actually, I say cut with me. It cultivates, but it comes under disc harrows. Um, really nicely detailed. Loads going on on this. I say, to have that as six slots, when you look at all the detail on that, pretty impressive stuff. Um, this one is also by Matthew FS, who we got the fences from today. This you'll find under tools, under disc arrows. Yeah, we've got the XL825 already. So there you go, XL525, 6 metre. 55 grand requires 200 horsepower, so fairly high on the horsepower requirement. Um, and it will run at 10 miles per hour. There are no options available. You get the Vager Stats and the Vager Stats colours. So let's have a look at it. This animation for unfolding. Very nice. Lights on it, indicators on the back, like so. Let's turn the lights off. Drop it down. And away we go. Cultivates at six metres, which is what it's supposed to do. Um, not bad at all. There you go, the Vegetat Carrier XL525 by Matthew FS. Which brings me on to the next of the mods for today. This is the Lizard PCP6000. This is by uh, Piazzada Do Farm. ZT, I want to get this right. <laughs> ZT Modding, JA Modding. Um, this is a sugar beet. Uh, no, it's not. It's a sugar cane planter. We have got a bit of sugar cane machinery in game. We don't often get new stuff for sugar cane, so it makes a bit of a change getting something different. This is a little bit wider than the standard ones we got in game, but about the same price as I think the largest one we've got is the largest. One. We'll see in a second. Really nicely detailed. I think it holds. I want to say 7,000 something litres. We will have a check because we've got these tanks as well. So this will sugar cane plant and fertilise at the same time if you want it to. You don't have to. You can just do the sugar cane if that's your, if that's your bag. Uh, so this you'll find under sugar cane technology. So there you go. The TT drive less, which is only one metre wide, is 44 grand. The two billet one we've got already um, is two metres wide and is 85 grand. This one right on the end is uh, 3.5 metres wide and only 44 grand so that's not too bad at all 7,100 litre capacity but that does split between the sugar cane and the um, you can put seed in it or sugar cane and it will it will plant sugar cane for you um, so there yeah, that is split only requires 160 horsepower and it will plant at 7 miles per hour options available there are none you get the planter as is in this lovely striking orange. Uh, so, let's have a look. Be able to see what the split is as soon as we hook up to it. There you go, 6,000 litres of sugar cane or seed, but it will say sugar cane, 1,100 litres of fertiliser. Now, we do have some options, I say some options. It does say fold sower and unfold sower. So, if I fold it just a second. So if we get it and it says unfold, so I did all sorts on this, trying to work out what unfold did. And I found this right in there. And I'll try to zoom in on it. There's a little lever. If I zoom in now, there's a little lever. If I press unfold, that lever goes forward. Now that may be to allow the flow of the um, shoe cane out and that kind of thing. But that little lever is what moves when you fold or unfold. So I've unfolded it, just to make sure. Um, and then we need to turn on sower. 
So on the sower, starts the belts, which brings the sugar cane out and down to the bottom section. What it also does with fertiliser in there is it starts spraying the fertiliser, but until I drop it down it won't do anything. So what we'll do now is lower it, so as you can see it's spraying at the bottom, and off we go. But the fact it does sugar cane at 3.5 metres, so it's 3.5, is that 3.5? Yeah, maybe it is. That gives us the widest spread we've got in game at the moment on console anyway um, for planting sugarcane and at the price of the cheapest um, option at the moment so that's pretty cool I say nice animation with the front there with the sugarcane going around the belt round over the top down to the bottom and out in the planting section those wheels bouncing around I don't like that very much do they so there we go that's the Lizard PCP 6000 by Piazada, Doe Farm, ZT Modding and JA Modding. Let's turn that off. Like so. Very nice indeed. Turn that off a second. Moving on, we have got... Uh, let's go to this one. Sorry, I've got a bit of a thing for the Urals at the moment. We've got this. This is the Lizard Low Loader by Luca Modding. Fairly standard uh, low loader does have a quite a nifty looking tyre option on that which I quite like, I think it's got twins, so it doubles on that um, and it has straps and the straps run right to the very back section there right up onto the top deck there as well, so if you are putting bales and things like that on, it's the full length sometimes you get them and they only go to about here sometimes you don't get them and they, they don't have straps on the top deck there um, but yeah, I mean like I say, it's not hugely detailed as such but there's enough detail on it for it to work as a low loader. Um, this you will find under tools, under low loaders, 19,995 to buy. This will cost you, no, it won't cost you anything. It will if you buy it, but four slots on the slot count, which isn't too bad. We can choose for our main colour anything on that palette, like so. Then wheel brand, we've got lizard, which gives you standard, you've got doubles in there. Uh, trailer Borg, we can have it twins or we can have it standards, so you don't have to have the twins if you don't want to. Um, and then we can have Michelin, which also gives you a standard but with a Michelin tread instead. So what we'll do is we'll just jump in this. Sorry, just had to do that. Uh, right, so unfold L1 and right stick side to side. So right stick to my right. Just zoom back a bit. Opens that out like so. You can kind of find your level. If you go too far, it will leave, load, lift the back off the floor like so, which you can do if you want to. Or you can just kind of find its feet wherever you want to put it. Like so, fold it back up push the right stick to the left, fold it all the way back in, like so. Lights are on the back, indicators, oh that's nice, I hadn't checked that before, that's pretty nifty. Oh, it's a little thing isn't it, but that's pretty cool. I wonder if I put, hand I've got my side panel plugged into my PlayStation, so I can, unlike beacons, hazard lights are slightly different, I like that. Simple things, but pretty cool. Right, lights off. Like so. Uh, and then straps, like I say, if I put straps on, all on or all off from inside the cab, like I say, they run the full length of the deck and up onto the top as well. It seems fairly wide as well, but it could just be because the Ural seems like a fairly narrow lorry, so it could be that. But, um, yeah, not a bad mod that. That's by Luca Modding. Moving on, we've got this interesting looking piece of kit. This is the Lizard T051-1 by Vauxhall and Pushcap. This is a round bale conveyance, or trailer as people like to refer to them. Um, it will take five round bales of your choosing. Uh, it doesn't have straps, but I think because it's got this kind of trough system, it's kind of assumed they won't fall out of there, but I know what farming simulator drivers are like, so 
potentially you could go all over the place. Um, it does have a tip mechanism as well, but I'm I'm a bit worried. And, no, we'll show it because I wanted to use the bales to show you something else, one of the other mods in a little while. Um, nicely detailed. The cage work looks. Yeah, it's not an auto load or anything like that. It looks nice enough. Um, but this will be a manual load. It's only because I was using the um, tele handler to actually load it. That's why. But it will hook up to the tele handler. It kind of makes life a little bit easier. Now, if I go L1, was it right stick side to side? I want to get this right. Oh no, it was unfold, I think it was. L1 and X. Whoa, there we go. So if I go L1 and X, that will unload by tipping it all to the left. I don't want to lose the bales, but L1 and X will tip them up and they will roll out. But like I say, I do want to use them at the moment. Um, this you will find under tools, under baling technology. There we go, the T051 one slash one. 1,600 to buy, um, and I think I already said, didn't I, it was only four slots, wasn't it? Oh no, this one's nine slots. Nine slots on this one, I'm thinking of the last mod I showed you. Options available, we can change the rim colour on tyres to any one of those, like so. Uh, and then we can change the main colour to any one of those. And those are your options available. Those are your options, that's what it does. Um, what I am going to do though is drive it over because now we're going to move on to all the placeables we've got today and we've got quite a few. There's a lot of lone oakery going on. Um, you will see in a moment. Uh, depends what I do for the thumbnail actually. So, we will stop there just a second. Next of the mods for today we have got this. Well, we've got a kind of pack. I think is the best way to put it. We've got the Lone Oak Cell Points Pack. Um, this is by G-Force Modding, Oxygen to David, Bullet Bill, Lone Wolf. Um, I think with permission from Oxygen David, Bullet Bill and Lone Wolf, G-Force Modding has brought the mods out from um, the Lone Oak Farm map. But this is the Green Oak Woolen Mill Company from Lone Oak. So this is your spinnery cell point. This will do wool and it will do cotton. Really nicely detailed. Uh, the spinnery is uh, 15 slots for this one for uh, a spinnery cell point. Uh, we have got over here, this isn't part of that pack, this is something different. Over here we have got the um, straw uh, straw barn. That's five slots and that should be a cell point for bales, but we'll check that in a moment anyway. Um, I haven't been able to find light switches on anything. There are lights in here, so I'm assuming these are going to be automatic on this one especially. Um, there is a, a hayloft up there, but I couldn't, again, couldn't get to it. Um, but there are some planks up there, not that you'd be able to put anything up there anyway, but just kind of adds to the uh, to the look. So that's the straw barn cell point. And then we've got the manure cell point just here. Um, the manure cell point is three slots, so 15, 5, and three. Uh, if we go into the menu, you'll see that once you buy them, you've got the barn sale point there. If we go across, the prices are there for various different barn related. Um, then the manure pit will only take manure at 112. That will probably vary, depends on the map, and it will probably go up and down as well, I would think. Then the spinnery sale point, as I've already said, will do your wool and your cotton. And prices again will vary. I would imagine from there. Nicely detailed, like I say, it just adds to the kind of cell point um, availability we've got. You know, the more cell points that are available when you're playing maps, you can place down all sorts of stuff. And it does kind of make life a little bit easier. So that's the first of them today. Uh, we've also got the taco stand from Lone Oak. From Taco Farm, well, not by Taco Farm, it says by Taco Farm. The tacos are by Taco Farmer. The um, mod again is G-Force Modding, Oxygen David, Bullet Bill, Lone Wolf. Um, this is a placeable that will pay you a small amount per hour. I think it was 30, 20 and 10. I'm sure that's what it said. Yeah, 30 on easy, 20 on normal and 10 on hard. Price is 3,900 to place. Plus you can always come and get some delicious tacos. Assuming of course it's open, which at the moment it's not. Um, but again, Actually, detailed brought us something to add on if you've got, you know, let's say you might want to put it down, you might not. That's entirely your choice. Now, these ones, we'll have a look at them now in store, under placeables. So, the cell points are all under miscellaneous. 
The straw barn is 30,000, the lone oak spinnery is 30,000, and the manure cell station is 12,000. Uh, the taco stand, I think, is also under miscellaneous, but a bit further along. There we go. 3,000. Oh, that's weird. It says 3,900 on the website, but 3,500 here in store. So a bargain. Even cheaper. Um, and the taco stand will use four slots. So only four slots to place that one. So that's those three. We've then got also from Lone Oak. We've got the Lone Oak um, sheep farm pack. So we've got the barn that sits to the side of the sheep um, pens on Lone Oak, which is this one here. Door opens, like so. Front door opens there. Now one thing again, I haven't been able to find a light switch. Um, so it is fairly dark in here. Again, there are lights and there is a little bit of light coming in from the side windows. But I have had a bit of a search around. It could just be me being blind. It's not the first time I've missed a light switch. But I haven't been able to find one. So I'm assuming again these are automatic. There is a door at the back as well. So this barn, as part of this pack, is 11 slots. Space for putting whatever you want, but there's a lot of detail on here. And again, slot count's not too high, considering the amount of detail. And then we've got the actual sheep pens themselves. So we've got the sheep pen, which is penned in, and then we've got a sheep pen, but kind of a... Well, it's a sheep pasture. It's the sheep building. One with pen, one with pasture. That's the easiest way of putting it. Both of these pens will hold 500 sheep. Um, the fenced in one is 11 slots the pasture is 13 slots again not too bad at all um, also by GeForce Modding Oxygen David Bullet Bill Lone Wolf gates on this section here if you wanted to go into this main section here better close those so they don't get away um, if we come around the other side or around this side the uh, wall pallet spawn point is just there our troughs are inside for water and for our feed. Again, I can't find a light switch, but it, um, I assume they will come on at night. Um, and then around the sides here, we've got our dialogue box for buying, selling, loading or unloading. Like so. We'd also have a gate around this side as well if you want to get in this side. Double gates as well, so plenty of room for getting machinery in and out. Again, should you need to take machinery in and out, I don't know why you would, but they're there anyway. You've got gates. Like I say, you might want to mow the bit of grass there. So the one next to this side is exactly the same, apart from the fact this is an open pasture, there's no fenced-in section. The uh, All the other points around this are exactly the same for your troughs, the spawn point, and your buy, sell, load, and unload point is just here. But just here, you need to pay attention to this bit. Well, you'll see when you place it if you buy one, but just here, if I press circle... Where's it gone? It's here somewhere. You've got to be kidding me. Well. Oh, there we go. There we go. Just there. So almost at the corner. If you press circle, when you first buy this, the question mark is like that. And what that does, it puts the posts up, which shows you where the nav mesh is. It shows you the extent to which the animals will roam. So if you wanted to put any other placeables and stuff around it, you can place them seeing where the edges are and then once you're done placing if you wanted to then come back press circle and they'll disappear so then it looks more like it's open plan um, but again this will hold 500 very nice indeed so those two pastures or the pasture and the pen and the barn are part of the lone oak sheep farm pack very nice indeed um just looking how far through we're almost done i'm almost done well I'm rocking and rolling today uh next we've got this one here this is the straw barn no this is just a barn it is an old straw barn it's not a cell point or anything like that um this is by camelos 0397 really nicely detailed uh wooden pillars this side brick pillars on the inside open on two sides it's yeah really nicely detailed um this is four slots no lighting inside it but yeah the detailing and texture is really nice step back as well the roof too not bad at all this you'll find under sheds 
there you go. Uh, like I say, it was only um, four slots. 22,000 to buy. Plenty of room under it. Oh, the other thing I didn't show you. Sorry, I meant to show you on the other ones. <sighs> How very remiss of me. Well, that's the straw shed anyway by Camelos0397. Before I rush off, I didn't show you these, did I? Oh, dearie me. So, under animal pens for the sheep farm. We've got Lone Oak Sheep Husbandry. That's the fenced pen. 169,999, but like I say, we'll hold 500. Um, and then the Lone Oak Sheep Husbandry Open Pasture. It's exactly the same price. We'll also hold 500. And then the actual barn itself, the barn building is under sheds. 36,999. Um, there you go. And again, those were 11 slots, 13 slots, and 11 slots for this barn. Sorry. Moving on to the last of the mods for today, we have got this. Actually, I do want to check something because I didn't check it before, and I should have done. Um, so we can come inside this, right? This is the grain silo by Merkta Gernbauer. Mods by Merkta Gernbauer are normally very detailed. Does that light switch work? It does. So we light up inside. We've got a little kind of office section, I assume that's the grain dryer. And the um, unload pipe goes out the window there. And then if we come round, we can go up these as well. If you wanted to, up to the top of the grain bins inside. So that's why it's such a large building. This has a rather large capacity, not a bad price. Just come out of there. Close that door. So... Uh, this capacity on this, I think, is 500,000 litres. Um, and it's 100,000 to buy. It's seasons ready. And it's a multi-fruit silo, so this will hold pretty much everything. Um, like I say, it takes up a... Oops, tractor. It takes up a bit of room. Um, but then I suppose that's to s sort of simulate the size of it and the silos inside the building itself. Um... But yeah, again, really nicely detailed. Again, brick bottom, um, train pipe sections, the wood looks like wood. It's, you know, my only criticism, and it is my only criticism, this is actually fairly narrow. Now, for most lorries, that should be an issue. It is a side tip, so the tip into the trough there that puts it into the silo. But I did, with that trailer there, manage to back up slightly and the trigger came up just here so if you haven't got a side tip trailer it will work but if you've got a tractor with chunky tires doubles maybe if you're not using a lorry or something like that that might be a little bit narrow to get through i just found using the zerion it struggled to get through past that little trough section on the side but it's just something worth pointing out it just you know depends what machinery you're running and operating um, this you'll find under placeables, under silos, and as I said, 100,000 for 500,000 litre capacity, and it will take everything on that list there, which is rather wonderful. Um, this will use, how many slots was this? 10 slots, which isn't too bad at all. Pretty good, in fact. Um, I suppose all that's left to do is just oh. we'll load up. As luck would have it, I do have some uh, manure in here, I believe. There we go. Uh, but like I say, as we scroll through, it will take everything. It will take straw and hay pellets if you've got the um, add-on straw harvest installed. If you haven't, that won't necessarily come up. So it's only because that's up already. But again, it will go for all the crop types, grasses, silage, wood chips, chaff, forage, top mix rations, sugar beet, sugar cane, everything. Really cool. Very nice indeed. Which is what a multi-fruit silo is, of course. But, yeah. I needed to explain that, I probably didn't. Now I haven't got any wool to show you, but... All I was going to do was just show you that the, that the manure cell point works. There's no, there's no reason why it wouldn't, but... I've just suddenly thought that potentially I didn't tell you what the slot count was on the PCP6000. Now I may have done, when I come to edit I might realise, but... So, unload, and there we go, my money's going up. We are earning money from selling manure. Uh, and that is it. That's the mods for today. I think I've covered pretty much everything. I'm just going to check to my side to make sure that while I've been doing this, they haven't released any more. 
I don't think so. Um, oh, that's what I was going to do as well. Yeah, let's, while we're here, why not? That's why I bought it over for, wasn't it? Now, these may disappear automatically. I might need to take them too short. There we go. They go automatically as a drive-in. So I've just been paid for the straw bells too. So there you go. Straw barn, sell point. Um, yeah, the PCP um, 6000 sugarcane planter was 18 slots. Um, I, I can't remember if I said it or not, um, but it is 18. And that's it for the mods for today. Um, I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.